Back in 1973, a little movie called The Exorcist came out. That same year, a little-known director named Frederick Hobbs released his movie, Alabama's Ghost, a fever dream of a film in which a nightclub janitor discovers the tools and tricks of a magician, which he uses to become a rock and roll magician and ultimately fight Nazi vampires with an elephant. That's where we're at this year. We're back, and it's time for Spooky of the Week. We're in the threek of Spooky yeah. in the Week 2024. I got to pick the theme this year. The theme was 70s horror. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so far, so good, <laughs> I'd say, <laughs> on that theme. This is true. So far, we've for had, sure, every film has come out in the 70s, for sure. Yes, we, we've had two strikes so far mm -hmm. in this series. You Strike out looking, too, I would say. Just completely whipped it. Yeah, yeah, it was, it's embarrassing. Don't know how we did that. But you know what they say, third strike, you're out. Two we're strikes. on two strikes. Is uh, is this going to be the third strike and we're out? And then we don't even get to do cats. <laughs> we don't even get to do cats. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. got a good batting average. Mm -hmm. Better than Alex. Bunny the Killer Thing was good. Yeah. I also like the Santa one. Santa's Santa Santa was, was awesome. So I yeah. would say in terms of that. So I recommended Alabama's Ghost. Uh, I found this movie because I'd watched another movie by the same director called uh, God Monster of the Indiana Flats. And I was like, I want to see what else this man has done because I have to know. So I watched <laughs> Alabama's Ghost six months, a year ago, something like that. And uh, I, I had a pleasant viewing experience. And so when it was- uh, How? how? I'm, I'm going to tell you a secret. Uh, this time around, I also had a pleasant viewing experience. Two? Let alone one? Again? Yeah. Some of it didn't hit as strongly as the first time, but I still had mm. fun. And so I had fun. It was a 70s horror movie. Uh, it is explicitly a horror movie. Uh, so I picked it. I would say, it's also barely a horror movie. The tagline says it's horror, and the movie is registered on IMDb and Let Letterboxd as horror. The yeah. the plot synopsis for Alabama's Ghost. Yeah, so well, I, before you actually say, I want I really <laughs> really need you to explain the plot because I could not follow it. It's so simple. It, it, well, see, here's the thing that's funny about this movie. It is the simplest plot, but somehow I was like, I just I, I my body and mind cannot. Register this. I cannot pay attention to it. I refuse <laughs> to any scene that passes by. It just it's deleted immediately. Um, as confusing as Tenet with the script of like a baby movie. <laughs> the opening like exposition of the first scene, which just panned back and forth, was shot of a city at night. Hitler's most brilliant and renowned young scientist, Dr. Kirsten Caligula, vanished suddenly. The Dr. Caligula, an expert in robot technology, Carter the Great at his mountain retreat near Calcutta, that Carter's substance resembled a highly potent form of hashish could result in the formation of deadly Zeta to enslave all humans within the sound of his voice. Seven years later, when Carter was pronounced legally dead. That is more exposition. I totally forgot about that. Right? Uh, that's more exposition than the Rise of Skywalker had in the <laughs> opening crawl. Yeah. Like, it's like literally the information that was in that crawl cubed <laughs> yeah. in just in that and they're like so, uh, it started off okay you know it's like so first of all there's this material that they were after in world war ii the nazis that there's this nazi woman who was into robotics i was like okay okay sure i got that it's like and uh they went after this uh magician guy carter the great i'm like okay he mysteriously disappeared okay i'm like okay there, also, the woman who went after it mysteriously disappeared, and I was like, I'm losing track cut, now. Cut like eight the, minutes later, <laughs> the war's over. <laughs> the war the is over. Lost. <laughs> lost. Uh, it's, I'm yeah. glad you brought that up. I completely forgot about that opening, like, panning of the city <laughs> narration thing. Yeah. Um, that really set the precedent to, like, completely fry my brain to yes. not be able to pay attention to the yes. movie. Because I started it late after a long day, and I was like, <laughs> and I was like, I have no... <laughs> What is happening? I started it. And I, I had to rewind one morning and I was I, not ready for it. I had to rewind it and I was like, what? 
I'm, I'm done Whoa. rewinding this. I'm not listening to this crap. This, uh, it's literally like six minutes long of this guy, just just a shot of a, a really blurry, crappy shot of a city. <laughs> while a guy goes, uh, and if you know about this, uh, the magic, and they overthrew, <laughs> and then she was betrayed, and then, uh, but the sister was there. I think I literally got up to reheat leftovers during that. Like, I think I started it, and I was like, this narration's going on for a while, and I just got up, let it play, and then reheated The, the narration ended, and I was like, well, I hope that wasn't important enough to ruin the experience of the movie for me. <laughs> <laughs> because I have no idea what was said and what that was. I'll give a, a broad plot synopsis. Oh, of course, I don't want to spoil the film. Exactly. There is a, uh, a gentleman named Alabama. Is of, that his actual name? Yes, I thought his that was his stage name. No, his stage name is Alabama, King of the Cosmos. Okay, but his real name is Alabama. Yes, because okay. at the beginning, they're calling him Alabama before he's found it. Isn't the guy in the beginning singing, is he singing yes. a song about his, his friend, the janitor or whatever? Well, they're not friends, but yes. Who's the goldest with the Moses? Who's the best from coast to coast? Carter, come back to Frisco land. He's, He's singing a song about. He's him. singing a song about Alabama and how he has a ghost. And then so the guy is singing a there song isn't. about the plot of the movie that's about to happen. Yes. Okay. It was it's great. I fell off into the cat land during that last scene. Yeah, yeah. Heck, that was smooth like a hundred yellow pussy cats dancing on jade. <laughs> You're gonna be dancing on the sidewalk in front of unemployment. You know, hustle this stuff downstairs and pile it real neat. We're going on a two week vacation. Man, this show ain't no way to treat a brother musician. The character is named Alabama. He finds the magic paraphernalia of a magician named Carter the Great, and it turns out that Nazi vampires are after it because they want to use it to mind control the world. That That is the plot. They're not Nazis, they're vampires. They they're are both. Yeah. They're both? They're both. I don't know how you're able to register any details when the audio was so terrible I couldn't hear a single <laughs> word they the were saying. The audio's terrible. Right. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. A little refreshment uh, to christen our joint venture. <laughs> on paper, if you just read the plot synopsis, like if you go onto IMDb or Wikipedia and read like the basic summary of what happens, you'd be like, whoa, this movie's really interesting. Like so much it's weird nuts. nut yeah. stuff happens. And then the execution makes those those things as uninteresting as possible. Mm -hmm. Like it is completely unenjoyable because of the execution. Yeah, the execution is so horrible that like anything that was funny to me or interesting, I was like, but like I don't even know what's happening. Like it is so muddled looking and sounding and just like the technique, just the, like even beyond just like how horrible the quality is, the technique of the filmmaking is bad. Yes. Um, One thing I do wonder, this is a genuine thing. I don't know if Amazon had a good rip of it. I'm wondering if is there- Is there a good rip of it? No, like I'm wondering if there is a rip, like the original film print, if it was higher resolution or if it always looked like trash. There's probably a better rip somewhere because film generally, even like, you know, 16 millimeter, eight millimeter film with a good scan will look clear. Like anytime you see any old movie that looks like that, it's usually because you're watching a bad rip of, of a bad scan. So yeah. that is fair. It could probably look better. It's so low budget. What if they were just using just really bad film stock like it's used? <laughs> this is expired film. You guys, that's actually yeah, it's not expired. for sale. <laughs> uh, we're not selling it. It's expired. <laughs> oh, we'll take it. We're going to yeah. shove that bad boy into a camera. <laughs> yeah, film it. <laughs> it turns to ash after being in a projector twice. Uh, Keegan, I don't understand how you enjoyed this movie. How did you enjoy this movie? So the first time I watched it, because I had seen God Monster the Indiana Flats. So I knew what I was getting of into. Of course, you have to see God Monster the Indiana Flats to like this movie. No, 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 no. It, it, it let me know that it was going to be a movie I was probably going to enjoy. So I went into it, and I was uh, pleasantly befuddled the entire movie. Uh, scenes happen, dialogue happens. I'm not exactly sure what's going on here, but in like a, a pleasant way, like you're in a, a in a nice dream. Nice. See, somehow that's where his brain went. Is that he's like, this is a pleasant confusion and just like a nice dream. Instead of just being like, what is happening? Did he just smash a wall? Oh, okay. He found a bunch of cursed items and there's weed in there. Wait, now look at that. <laughs> yeah, old Carter knew where it was at. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately he puts it all on, and, which is and something any reasonable person would do. Is he, go, ah. he goes and finds finds Carter's what sister or whatever is is he goes wife? to Carter's sister 
who is who played is by actually, Sam Slade, who is actually a Nazi vampire pretending to be the sister. Yeah. I was thinking the same thing. I was is like, that, is that, this me in, in makeup and old lady so, I, voice? I thought, I thought it was Sam Slade, the and then they lady. showed the close-up. I was like, oh, it's John Lennon. Dear Sonny, come on, spill it. Sam Slade does an old lady voice that sounds precisely like the Nazi vampire doing the old lady voice. Oh, it's, it's just any any like adult man trying to do a, trying an to old, do lady an old lady. Voice. That's it. It's That's the, all it is. Oh, hello, oh, hello Mr. Miss. Washington. Oh, oh, I am evil. Oh, That's a good one. That's a good, a good one. one. I, let me tell you, that is a perfect. Oh, hello! Yeah, and, yeah, and just like, yeah, you do the Mrs. Doubtfire thing, mm -hmm. basically. I think it's funny how just absolutely stupid the main character is. Like, oh, yeah. His goals are stupid. I, the main character is the best part of the yeah, movie. Yeah, like, he, he's, he's, he's like, <laughs> sweet. I found these cursed items and I'm going to use it to become my, my ultimate dream. Well, he, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's like a famous magician. My, my, fa my ultimate dream is to become a musician. And then he finds magic items and he's like, my ultimate dream. My actual be ultimate <laughs> dream was to become a the, the world's greatest magician and a rock star. And then the one he's told, don't share my secrets by the ghost. He's like, that's the one rule with mm -hmm. this magic stuff is don't share my secrets. Work hard. You might be ready for your first months time but you gotta promise me one thing never tell anybody these secrets it's a magician's law oh don't you worry Marty. old alabama know how to keep his mouth shut <laughs> and then is one person is like hey if you show the world your secrets we'll pay you a lot of money he's like sweet i will share all of my secrets you got to make me a famous a magician first, though. And then we have about 45 yeah. minutes of dancing. Oh, yeah. Lots dancing of dancing. And, and the worst <laughs> magic show ever. You have the magic of film and editing to make your, your magic show well, better. You like, put a guy in a box, and the guy's not in the box anymore. That is your magic trick, and now he's a billionaire. <laughs> because he's it's the like greatest magician ever. There was better magic at the time, yep. in 1973. Yeah, yeah and, and like elements of like... What's supposed to be happening just isn't landing. Like the fact that they have the girl that is like stabbed by the sword because he does that wrong. Yeah. And it's right. like, oh, it's because you're giving away secrets or whatever. And I was like, I didn't even realize that he'd already given away a secret uh, by yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, you're I, now, I, I didn't know that. I, don't, I did not pick up on that until you just said that. I told you, but uh, I'm getting spooked. I promised Mott and I wouldn't mess around with Carter's secrets. Now some weird thing is beginning to happen to me. Like sometimes I think Carter's ghost is floating around my head, uh, keeping up. Fish eye on me as evil fish eye. The vampire back. aspect of this movie was also very confusing because I was just like, it, I feel like I feel like they introduced the vampires Nazi way vampires. Nazi vampires way earlier than I actually realized they were in the movie. You were a vampire. That old yeah. lady's a vampire. But I see because it's so hard to follow because I couldn't hear anything, and even with the sub the subtitles, yes, they, they were bad because it was just. Uh, what, an AI generated, AI generated probably whatever, yeah. yeah um subtitles that Amazon Prime had and I just was like I have no idea what they're talking about what is, yeah. what is he saying what yeah uh so but by the time the vampires were were doing stuff I was like oh shoot there's vampires in this movie too I thought we were talking about elephants here I thought the uh, whole this whole plot was about this guy he's gonna make an elephant it, disappear he's gonna make the one of the smallest elephants uh, alive disappear <laughs> wide shot here it comes there's all these people you see them and I'm like oh they left room like up here for this the and then it's this big and I was like and part of the thing I love about this movie that's so You charming. have cameras, you can make it look bigger, guys. And that's the only one you got. Well, and everything is filmed <laughs> on this like flat wide angle. Like literally yes, yeah. every yeah. single thing is just It this, would be like, easier to follow if I could like if there was close-ups and I was able to be like, oh, what character's what? <laughs> yeah. Instead of just a blurry uh, mess from the corner. Yeah. And part yeah. of the charm of this movie for me is how incompetently it's made. It adds to that dreamlike quality of like this guy does not know anything. He just keeps anything. throwing in this, this dream word. Like, he's like, it's so incom incompetently made. Yeah, it's, and it's, I thought it was like great. You're, yeah, it's like you're in a dream or hallucination. A hallucination's a good way Honestly, to put it. Honestly, if, yeah. if the audio was clean, it, that, I think that would make the biggest difference for me. Like, it's a bad movie, and I could maybe be like, oh, it's kind of charming how horribly this is made. It's the fact that I literally couldn't understand half the words. And if there's less dancing. Less dancing would, would be nice. Less that, dancing would that, go a long way. So nice. this this movie, I, I, we talked about this earlier, it has a, a, a Spooky of the Week record. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's the longest film we've ever reviewed. <laughs> it's a good eight and a half fucking hours long. Kevin, yeah, really I, 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 I looked it up. I looked it up. <laughs> I For, actually didn't have to look it up. I, I timed it. And, I, and yeah, it every time I looked at my watch, it actually got longer. <laughs> like, I was going backwards in time, it, it, it felt like. Every time I checked, it was disappointing every time I looked at my watch. Except the last one, which was two seconds left. I love how much they talked about that elephant in the movie. They kept bringing up, like, he's going to make an elephant disappear. And everyone was like, that's impossible. That's impossible. Even though know Houdini do that. existed like 50 you years before. You cannot this. do that. Like, and also, he's just recreating a joke or a, 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 a trick that somebody else did. Yeah, like it's Carter the Great's trick. It's Carter uh, the Great's trick. So it's yeah. like, like, first of all, that's it's impossible. No one's ever done it, especially Carter the they Great. They keep talking about it. It's like, do you think he's actually going to be able to make that elephant disappear? And it's like, is that that crazy? Like, his mom, yeah, his mom's like, don't worry, I've warded off the vampires, but can you for actually make an elephant disappear? <laughs> like, that is, it, like, it bonkers. That's impossible. Mr. Goth's gonna pay you lots of money for giving out the magic elephant secrets on the big TV show? Sure, Mama. Lots. ooh -wee. You sure you can make a real live, honest to God, elephant disappear in front of everybody in the whole world? The part where he's lying in bed and the vampire's about to attack him, it's after he had the the vision of like the the bleeding heart, and then he just starts screaming at Carter and is like, "Screw off, you racist ghost! Oh yeah, I'm still oh. gonna do whatever the hell I want." Don't believe him, Alabama. He wants to kill me. You get out of here, Islands, black man. Heed my warning before you die. On Rose Dark Mountain, your body meat for vampire stuffing, an instrument in the hands of God. He knows about the deal Otto made with Gold for Doomcrest. Oh, yeah? Will you just tell it? I am afraid of no white racist ghost. And then when he's with the other guy at his mom's mom's place, and he comes, do the comes back, he goes, magic. "Don't listen to him. He's racist." I am here to protect him from all this harassment and blood drinking. Right on, Doc. He's a racist. Tell him to go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was like, that was one of yeah. the jokes that okay, actually that, did land for that me. Is the that landed. Joke. The racist jokes landed. Yeah. Um, at the beginning of the movie, I got some pretty major uh, play misty for me PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like. Nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna. Nothing's gonna happen in this movie. Nothing scary. Not one thing. Yeah, that was one of the only. I can notes, feel it. One of the only notes I wrote was uh, and somehow like forty a minutes plot in something happened. where nothing is happening. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it was like thirty minutes in. I was like, what is happening? I know nothing's happened, but what is happening? Yeah. Um, there, well, is, there is one part that I did laugh out loud. There was a delivery that made me laugh out loud from the main sure. character when he he takes a drag, and he's talking to the old lady vampire, and he's like, hey, We're going to be partners now, eh, Granny? That scene tricked me into thinking I would like the movie better, because I actually yes, did that, enjoy that, that scene. That scene is not bad. That scene is silly. And I would actually say the opening's not bad either. Him, like, tripping down the stairs and actually, like, breaking down the uh, the wall. Like He all, starts putting all the stuff on. Yeah. There's a ghost behind him. Yeah. Kind of like, All that stuff was, was interesting to me. It's after the granny scene where the movie just slams on the brakes, and then for the next hour, I don't give a fuck about any of this. They're driving around in their stupid car, which they spent a lot of time on. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. so I have a theory. So the director is an artist, and he did other art projects outside of uh, his film. Uh, he did like three films. One of the things he did is he made several weird cars that were drivable art pieces, and he drove them around places. Oh my god! So I think that car to... was one of the cars that he made. Not would not be surprised at all. That, probably that has is. to be yeah. made. He threw a bunch of cardboard and stuff on, and and horns on it. And yeah, he's really an artist. So there you go. That's that's the you one. Drive my art. I like that they're calling money bread. Got all of Carter's tricks and equipment, but I gotta have bread. Lots of bread. <laughs> You've never heard bread, dude, bread, yeah, bread. That, I've heard dough. I don't think I've ever heard I've, bread before. Bread is bread, a good yeah. term. I've, 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 I've heard it used. I've never heard it so exclusively yeah, I, it used. Made me, so he was saying a lot, and bread. then his manager yeah. was like, That's out of sight. But I've got to have my bread. Listen, donkey. Yeah, we gotta get our bread. Yeah, um, we gotta give him his bread, yeah. Don't let this laughter fool you. Most of the movie it was is miserable me, to yeah, watch. Was most me of it. sitting in silence. In a minute, like, we're going to finish everything that we enjoyed about the film. There's it, a great it, part it, where it, the it, elephant kills a vampire. 
That I've, does happen at the I end have, of the movie. I have never seen an elephant kill a vampire before. Yeah, that that is true. You I wasn't wasn't broke, it broke new ground. <laughs> I wasn't, wasn't going to ask you. Is that what you just said? <laughs> no, I, don't know. You <laughs> wanna, I wasn't asking for it. Is what I was. For me, this movie was was a dud. I wanted to like it because I did enjoy the main character's performance for the most part. Uh, and just slash the main character. He's a good comedy lead character. Yeah, he's a good comedy lead character because like immediately you're just like, dude, this you are doing the wrong thing. You are you are making a bad decision for your life. And, and like we it. said, his motivation's inconsistent, but it's consistently inconsistent. Like he really just wants to be famous, yes, and like like he just, he, he just wants to be not the guy. His behavior is consistent. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I I would even say his underlying motivation yes. is the same. He thinks he wants to be a famous musician. The second he gets an avenue for something else, it shifts like, to that. I wanted to be a famous magician actually yeah, yeah. Is and somehow even though this has never happened in history he is the most famous famous man on the planet with magic yeah no magicians became I, the most I famous did, man on the planet i did like the radio no, announcer one. too when uh they were doing the tea oh my god the, 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 the whatever the nazi guy is paid for everything no advertisement we have free airtime no commercials and all thanks to jerry gold People, he could run for president right now today and win. This is the most amazing thing that's ever happened. Like he's like freaking out because it's an ad. Free snacks. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, this is an unprecedented global event. Unprecedented. Uh, that was everyone on Earth was celebrating. Is going to be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that that made me laugh a little bit. And I was like, that. And then hasn't the finale. For the who. It's not going to happen for you. The finale. Magician man was like so confusing to me, and I, like not what happens like like li like plot wise but just like the way it's filmed is so visually hard to follow and like they're, they're yes. in the desert now there's motorcycles there's well, it's okay. because they filmed all the extras at an actual festival and then they filmed the ending somewhere else and it's filmed yeah. in the fucking desert yeah, yeah. Like, like literally yeah. and i was like this is so confusing yeah. it turned into dune out of nowhere or it yeah. turned into mad max out of nowhere uh i i would like clarification from from the uh, master of plot Okay. I I really do not understand what the deal with the robot was with the oh plot my God, of the yeah, Nazis. <laughs> Why? How did that incorporate with the plan? L let me see if I can remember. So they had the must be hard watching. It Even this. this movie is stumping the master of plot, dude. No, no, I'm just trying to remember like the because he, he has to go into his matrix, I'm, dude, to <laughs> find out the. He has to triangulate. I'm the trying plot, to dude. remember what the name because it's like the the the. Zirconium something. I'm, I'm blanking on the name of, of the the altered version that mind controls people. Oh yeah, because they have an element or something that they're trying to. Yeah, because it's pure hashish, and then it, it's zirconium X or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the reason why they had the robot Alabama is the monster is an exact replica of Alabama the magician, my master. Lovely, isn't it, Max? Oh, Zeta. Not to be confused with deadly Zeta. <coughs> is transmitted into the dummy's nostrils and mouth. Thus, all materials and byproducts and energy keep building up inside him. Nothing, absolutely nothing is wasted. They were using the real Alabama to get everyone to watch because he's the world's greatest magician. And everyone wants to watch him. And then they were going to use the Zirconium X, wherever it is, to mind control everyone. Because I think it works through TV screens, which is why they have the television crews. And then they're going to have the robot of Alabama say the mind control things to affect everyone. Instead, that Ooh. robot Alabama just shot everybody with his magic wand. That is because they hacked it, right? Didn't, didn't they hack Who it? Hacked I don't it? Actually, my favorite line in the movie. Keep Alabama quiet while I unwrap this robot. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only line I'd laugh like. <laughs> or, I'm gonna be honest. The entire I thought ending just was AI. so fucking confusing. I, also I was so lost. I thought AI just when, took over. They made it a robot. I, too I smart. couldn't tell when it was the real Alabama and when it was the robot Alabama. Well, that, I, that was because there was a bait and switch. I know, and it was fucking confusing, and I could not follow. There was it. a bait and switch. Yeah. So that was Alabama. So the real they, Alabama shooting. Yeah, real, real Alabama got up there Wait, and was what? shooting from the. No, water. because the, the real Alabama was fighting the vampire guy on the and the on the crazy car. One of them, they they switched at one point. I'm trying to remember when exactly this they switched. Is, this is this, this is master this of plot. argument. <laughs> well, no, I, I'm saying that the fact that it this much argument is happening. Is just proving the point that it's fucking confusing, it is confusing and not well executed at all. And then the the lead Nazi guy can walk all of a sudden. It's my zombie! It's my zombie! No! Oh! 
the movie is full of twists. He's in a, and that was a crazy twist. I was like, but he just lunges at her out of his wheelchair, and I was like, oh shoot, what, the power Christ. Most confusing. Would you recommend it? No. To uh, anyone? No. Keegan, any final thoughts, and would you recommend it? Uh, I love the movie. It's uh, befuddling in, in a, the most fun way to me. Befuddling is a uh, great word. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's a little too fun. Recommendation? <laughs> uh, I would not give this a general recommendation to most people. If you want to watch a really weird, confusingly made movie, highly recommend. Yeah, it's your search and recommendation. If your personality is identical to Keegan's, then sure. Yeah. If you are not identical in that regard to Keegan, then, then don't watch it. Keegan's seen this twice before he saw The Shining once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or The Exorcist. Or The Exorcist. Yeah. Or The Godfather. Final thoughts. Finn, would you recommend it? And would I recommend it? I fucking hate Keegan. <laughs> uh, this is probably the worst thing he's ever done to me, personally. So no, I guess I wouldn't recommend it to anyone other than Keegan. Uh, we, we said, we said if you're exactly like Keegan, you would like this movie. You're not. I gotta agree that it's probably, it's my first Keegan whiff because I think it's lower than Whore in the High Desert for me. I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not an enjoyable film. It's too much of a Keegan movie. Yeah. It's too far. It's, 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 it's a step beyond and what an I, army can, I enjoy can enjoy. the, the mummy theme park. So no, I would not recommend this movie if you're looking for a 70s, I, this is the most embarrassing theme, I, this, this theme has ruined us because I started we to say out. the sentence. That is three strikes. I started to say the sentence. If you're looking for a good '70s movie, and then I remember that the theme for this year was '70s movies and all the amazing horror movies that came out that in the '70s. I literally have not finished watching all the good '70s horror movies, and I watched like dozens every year. And we picked none of them. Somehow, it, it should have been ripe for gold. And it we, was we, right for we, gold. We, 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 we visited a gold we, mine we and, filtered, and grabbed the rocks. Yeah, no, we, we grabbed the rocks. We, we filtered through we, the gold. We pushed and the gold the out of the way. All the coal that's uh, in the gold coal. mine. We're just coming out with our sacks full of coal <laughs> while the guys are striking it rich with their gold. And we're just like, did you see how much coal is in that gold mine? That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Co coal is valuable. We're all dirty. The rest of them are in nice clothes because they just got a bunch of gold from the gold mine. Like, you, we're going back to get more. I, I, all right. Well, thank you for watching Spooky of the Week. Did Sam Slade do his? He did it first. I did it first. This movie fried all of our brains keegan doesn't even know he doesn't know <laughs> we, I, I like that keegan was a little stumbled on like his master of plot is, i, I is think crap. it really it really proved the point for us i was mm. like i felt like like a, a, a pro, adobe premiere pro Ex <laughs> <laughs> exporting it started and i was like okay okay in the middle it stalls you know for a while i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna make it at kevin.exe has stopped working and then I, and then i get to the end and i'm like all right zero percent we're here and then that, the whole climax happens, and I, I'm, I'm gone. I, 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 I turn off, and the whole thing closes. Like, ah, failed export. I'm so sorry. Who knows? Maybe next week, the final week of Spooky of the Week, Kevin will bring us back. It's his Spooky of the Week. So That's right. tune in next time, because we're going to be watching another spooky movie. Kevin, do you want to tell for me all, what we're going to be watching? For all you normies uh, out there who agree that, that my movie's the best one each time, uh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, um, for all you casual bitches, for, for, for all for all you uh, casual uh, horror bitches who have taste, um, I appreciate you defending me and my movies. Um, you, you're you're gonna do it again next time. It is Kevin every time <laughs> you pick um, the the one that you do well, get the because fans, because yeah. no one watches your guys' movies. Like, oh, that looks funny. I'll never see that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they watch it in replacement yeah. of seeing the movie. Yeah. Mine's like, oh yeah, I've seen that. I want to see people talk about it. So you're going to get that next week, guys, yeah. with uh, Alice, Sweet Alice. We'll see you next week. <laughs>